Hi, and thank you for watching us here at Tax Talk UK, where we talk about all things tax and also consider other important aspects of working for yourself, being self-employed, running a small business. So today I'm going to talk through how to um, calculate the net value from the gross, um, specifically um, thinking about VAT. Um, before I talk about that, if I could please ask you to take a moment to subscribe to our YouTube channel. That way you'll easily be able to refer back to this information if you should need to, as well as being able to find other information that we have available on a whole host of different topics, all aimed at supporting you in your self-employment and helping you to be more successful. So back then to calculating the net, um, the net value from the gross value when there is VAT included. Now, this is one of those things that once once um, you realise how um, how to calculate it, it seems really obvious. Um, but one thing um, one thing that's really really common is for people to um, take the VAT rate, um, currently twenty percent, and apply that to the gross value. Now, if we think about just a really um, basic example um, of, say, £100 net plus £20 VAT, then um, that's really easy to calculate. And of course, we can see if we take the gross value there of £120 and we take 20% of £120, then we get £24. So clearly we've got too much VAT. So, so what I always suggest is if you find it difficult to remember how to calculate and you're not sure whether you have the right method is take your um, calculation back to a really basic um, a, a really basic example, such as a hundred pounds net plus 20% VAT being 20 pounds VAT and see if you, and if your um, calculation gives you the right result. So if you were thinking, oh, I think I might need to take 20% of the gross amount, then, and you applied it to your 120 pounds, you would instantly be able to see that you hadn't got the right um, calculation. So although that may, be not, may not help you to get the right calculation, at least you would know and you wouldn't make that error. Um, so, so, what we're going to um, what we're going to do is we're going to consider what is known as the um, fa fraction. So in the, in our scenario of one hundred pounds plus VAT at twenty percent, giving us one hundred and twenty pounds, what we can what we can um, easily see there is that if we divide that whole gross amount of one hundred and twenty by six gives us the VAT. Does that make sense? So if we have 120 pounds and we divide that by six, then that gives us the 20, pound, 20 pounds VAT. So one sixth of your gross amount gives you the VAT. And then of course, it easily follows that five sixths gives us our net amount, our 100 pounds in that scenario. So you can see here that one sixth is the VAT fraction. That is the fraction that if we take that amount, that gives us the VAT element of a gross figure. Now that equates also to 16.67%. So again, if you apply 16.67% to the gross amount at a VAT rate of 20%, then that will give you your um, VAT amount. And this followed on from some confusion when I was talking about the VAT margin and I was talking about how you would um, be accounting for VAT of 20% um, the on the margin um, amount and, um, and on the link that I provided to gov.uk was talking about the VAT at 16.67. So they're both the same thing um, but a different, just a different representation. So the VAT um, percentage of 16.67 
it will get to you if you apply that to a gross figure will get you the VAT at 20% if that makes sense. So it can be a little bit confusing. It can be hard to remember if you're not working with the fat fractions or the percentages on a day to day basis. It can be hard to remember what percentage it was or what fraction, because, of course, we're all different and different things are easier. Some people will find the fraction easier. Some will find the percentage easier. So then, um, as I mentioned earlier, if you go right back to a very basic transaction, say £100 plus um, 20% VAT, i.e. £20, and you apply your um, fraction, or you can really easily calculate it um, from there to get your, your VAT fraction. Or if you think you have remembered it, just apply it to that basic transaction. And you will find that the more that you need to do this, um, the more times, then the more the, the more um, easy it will be to remember it. Um, but, you know, we have to sort of remember that um, if we're not working with things day in, day out, it can be hard to retain the information. So that's a little tip of how to um, of how to um, work out what the um, VAT fraction or the percentage um, is in order to be able to, to, to calculate the net value or, or the VAT value um, from the gross um, from the gross figure. I hope this has been helpful. Thank you for watching. Please do take a moment to like the video. Goodbye.